Yo, what is going on guys, I'm back with another video. Today I am back on Genesis and today's video will go ahead and do my second ever progress episode on Genesis. If you guys want to let me know what my end goal should be for this progress series, definitely let me know down below in the comments. Now, uh, in today's video, we'll go ahead and do a lot of achievements and hopefully complete quite a lot of them to get myself a bunch of mystery boxes and hopefully get some really juicy loot from those. So here we go, and all the golem fight that is down. Now, for the guys who haven't seen my update video yet, definitely make sure to check that out. So pretty much global bosses have changed. Now you have the golem instead of the three um, bosses that you had earlier. Now the three bosses, the noble mage and so on, are actually just farmable bosses. So you will be able to just find them on the bosses in the teleport interface and grind them out there if you want the gears. Now, of course, as always, make sure to check out Kong Kong on YouTube, which is the YouTube voting page. In here, you'll find all the videos posted by content creators. If you go ahead and watch those and comment your in-game name on those, you'll actually be able to get yourself some of these YouTube goodie bags, which can give some really juicy loot. Now, I already went ahead and did this today, got myself two of these YouTube goodie bags. So let's see if I can get myself anything lucky from those whatsoever um, but i don't think i will be unless there we go that is 10,001 bill gems not gonna complain about that we also got the slayer mystery box which might give us like ice torva or something even though we already have a full set but if we can get anything else that is nice as well um like golden whip don't think that is anything good However, we also voted, so I have this new voting casket and then of course the four old voting caskets as well. So if we can manage to get lucky on one of those, that would also be great. So far, nothing too special. Can we get something good here? Another Slayer mystery box, but nothing too special from that. And also we have a beginner mystery box, so let's go ahead and see if we can get anything cool. Archer's Dehyde Body and an Ice Minigun, that's like nothing too special to be fair. Now we still have this Galactic uh, Fantastic Key and we get an Eye of the Warrior which is really good to be honest. And that's one of the achievements completed by mining 10 ores. Now you'll see a lot of achievements pop up really quickly after each other because of course I'm gonna start out with all the easy achievements which will only take me a very short amount of time to complete. As you will see, whenever I smith one more iron bar, I should be able to complete myself another achievement right there by smelting five iron bars in total. That's not an easy achievement done. And that's not an easy achievement done. And I just finished two more achievements by fishing and cooking 25 trouts. And that's another one done by catching five implings. And after our AFKing for two minutes, we also completed this achievement to chop 50 spirit chippings. And here we go, another golem fighter has been killed, we got ourselves another lucky key. Right, so I come to these mythical dragons to get myself a amulet of collection, or a collector's amulet rather, and I actually got myself an amulet of corruption at kill count 1, as you can see right there, which is a 1 in 80, uh, 188 chance. Still going for the collector's amulet, but that is actually pretty sick. We just did another fighter golem kill, got ourselves a slayer mystery box this time around. Actually, we got two of them, so let's go ahead and open it. We got ourselves a master wand, and to finish it off, we also get ourselves an ice burning body, which isn't too bad. Alright, there we go, kill count 72. We just got ourselves the collector's amulet or the collector's necklace, so there we go. That is the drop that I was going after, which is really sick. There we go, we just finished another golem fight killed, we got ourselves another lucky key from that. There we go, we just completed a medium achievement by chopping 50 maple logs. We just completed the achievement of killing 50 of these PVM mystery boxes. And here we go, we just completed another medium achievement by fishing 75 lobsters. And of course by cooking 75 lobsters we completed that achievement as well. And that's another fighter golem killed for another lucky key. And for AFK in a little bit longer, we completed the Chop 200 Spirit Chippings achievement. And we just completed the medium achievement of catching 30 implings. And here we go for another Golem Fighter kill. Once again, we only get ourselves a lucky key. And that's the 50 Gold Ore Mining achievement completed. And of course, after that, smelting 40 gold bars has been completed as well. So from all of that, I managed to get myself 8 PVM mystery boxes, also got myself some lucky keys, and another YouTube video was posted, so got myself two more of these YouTube goodie bags as well that I will be opening up. Um, we didn't get anything from the lucky keys, which I didn't expect either, but the YouTube goodie bags, please give me some good stuff. That is 20,000 of these gems. Let's see if I can get anything better, and that's just another PVM mystery box. Unfortunately, that $50 bond right there would have been super juicy to get, 
But anyways, let's go ahead and open up all nine of those. I'm just gonna spam through these and see if I can get anything lucky whatsoever, but I don't think we do. Um, anyways, moving on from that, these killing mystery books, oh, those just give some supplies. So we are a couple days later and of course I did my daily things like checking the YouTube voting page, voting and so on. I also already killed a few global bosses and I got myself absolutely nothing from that. I've got myself activity mystery box, got myself a bunch of these other voting caskets, the new one and of course the old one, Slayer mystery box there as well, and of course the YouTube goodie bag. So I'll be opening up these really quickly just to see if I can get anything lucky whatsoever from those, opening the new one as well to see if I can get anything lucky from that, but mainly cash. And then of course opening up these real quick to get myself a bunch of these rings which basically give me nothing besides of course i get double experience and double drop rate which is super awesome anyways let's move on with these youtube voting uh, goodie bags i'm always gonna pick number 13 because oh my god i would have loved to get that party hat right there um but i'm always picking number 13 because at some point i feel like number 13 will be the lucky number that i get uh, PVM mystery box would have rather had those three release boxes right there that would have been freaking awesome and then we get ourselves beginner mystery boxes so we got absolutely nothing from that unfortunately what is this we got champion mask I actually don't know if that is any good whatsoever but um, yeah we got that we just completed an achievement of completing five slayer tasks and with that we got ourselves an instance ticket for one hour which will be very useful later on okay so I missed it but somewhere I got myself 99 slayer just finished another golem fighter and we got ourselves a pvm mystery box so let's open this one up and hope that we get ourselves something good from this but i do not expect it i would love those 100 tortured bones but unfortunately we get ourselves glaven boots or rage fires and i just uh, completed another achievement by killing 200 of these stitches in total i completed one of my daily tasks to finish seven vanaka tasks and here we go with another golem fighter kill. Let's see what we can get ourselves this time around. We only get ourselves a lucky key, unfortunately. And we just completed another daily task by forging three items. And here we go, yet another golem fighter has been killed. Once again, only a lucky key, unfortunately. So I just got myself this Zionic bow from one of the Slayer mystery boxes. And as you can see, this is actually a tier 3. So this would be an upgrade from the Dreadfall bows that I'm using right now, which is super awesome. And here we go, fighting another Golem fighter. Once again, we only get ourselves a lucky key. And here we go, we just completed an achievement by cutting 100 uncut diamonds. So here we go for another Golem fighter kill. Hopefully we can get ourselves something decent and we only get a lucky key, unfortunately. But we did get a voting streak goodie bag from voting multiple days in a row. So let's go ahead and see if we can get lucky picking number 14. We get ourselves 10 of these fantastic keys. So let's hope that some of these will actually give me something good. So quickly gonna start off with this lucky key. We actually got ourselves an insidious full helmet, which I think is a pretty decent reward. So I'm gonna check that out real quickly if we check out the uh, reward list and we check out the lucky key. I believe that this is actually quite rare. It's a one in 10 chance, which isn't the worst, but it's still a pretty decent item to get from the lucky chest. Anyways, let's go ahead and open up 10 of these fantastic keys now and see if we can get lucky. We just got ourselves an eternal aura, which is definitely an upgrade to what we have. What is this? That is two heavy cash boxes. I'll take that. Staff of Eyes. There's actually pretty sick rewards that I'm getting from here. We also just got ourselves a Shadow Lord goodie bag. We got ourselves another Staff of Eyes. Let's see if we can get anything else. We got ourselves Galaxy goodie bag from this. Divine Spirit Shield and then two more keys, some more heavy cash bags. Last key, we get ourselves an Eye of the Mage. So overall, we got pretty decent rewards. So let's open up this one to get ourselves a Brutal Whip. Unfortunately, that is not the best, but ending off with 15,000 more um, one build cash tokens. Here we go, another uh, Golem Fighter has been killed. Let's see, we only get ourselves a lucky key. Oh, I absolutely missed this, but I just got myself an Amulet of Corruption at kill count 112 at the Mythical Dragon. Um, we just got ourselves an Orb of Slaying while finishing my Slayer task, and I actually have no idea if this is like anything rare or whatever, but I can use this Orb on a Slayer Helmet to upgrade it, I just need to get myself a Slayer Helmet first. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you didn't already. Also, make sure to comment some endgame goals for this account, and I'll be catching you guys in my next video. Peace.